Okay, uh, calling this order at 1.10 p.m., starting with a territorial acknowledgement. I uh, respectfully acknowledge that the SFSS is located on the traditional and ceded territories of the Coast Salish peoples, including the Musqueam, um, Squamish, Swilatut, and Coquitlam, Coquitlam and Katsi nations. Unceded means these territories have never been granted, ended over, or sold, or given up by these nations, and we are currently situated on occupied territories. Okay, roll call vote, um, VP internal. He's probably walking, so I'll skip him for, for now. Um, Simmer. Yeah, present. Cool. Uh, Joe? Uh, present. Just going to be giving three more minutes. Cool. Uh, Chloe? Chloe? Oh. Uh, Chloe says, uh, Chloe, share pronouns, access needs are met. Our mic is going to be on and off. Uh, Sam also says he is, um, access needs are met. Um, PP event sent in regrets. Um, uh, Rishi? Uh, Rishi VP University, all access needs are met. Great, thank you. Uh, Cindy? Hi, uh, she your pronouns, access needs are Awesome. Um, admin? Great, thank you. Um, again, regrets from VP events. Um, moving on. Um, be resolved to adopt the following consent agenda by unanimous consent. Um, I move. I need a second. Uh, Joe seconds. Um, any discussion on this? This is a very good item, I think. No, this is something else. Okay. Uh, uh, sure, I could share my screen with the agenda. About now. I see screen now. Rishi? Yep, yep, it's working. It's probably Sam. Oh, uh, we have an exec meeting okay. right now. Thank you. Okay, Uh, I think I left off. Yeah, consent agenda, anything about that? If not, I'll seek unanimous consent. If we should abstain or dissent, please signify. Seeing none, motion is carried unanimously. Uh, moving on to adoption of the agenda. Uh, be resolved to adopt the agenda as presented. I move. I need a second. University. University seconds. Um, floor is open for discussion and amendments. List, please. Yes. From you? Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. Chloe, go ahead. Uh, I cannot see the chat. Hold up. Okay. No, I can't. Uh, Chloe has two amendments that she's going to paste. Um, Chloe, if it's taking you a while, I'll move on to Rishu, so Rishu could just do his. Rishu, go ahead. Uh, do you want me to read it? I've already posted in the chat. Oh, uh, yeah, you could go on and read it. Uh, so the amendment is for reimbursement for the executive committee coffee machine, whereas the SFSS exec office frequently hosts guests and meetings requiring re refreshments for hospitality purposes, whereas the president picked out a coffee machine on Amazon.ca to purchase for the exec office, incurring a total cost of $112.77, whereas VP University used his Amazon Prime account to prevent shipping charges. Whereas it is necessary to provide refreshments for guests and meetings and to maintain a welcoming and professional environment in the executive office. Whereas the purchase of the machine was made in accordance with SFSS policy and guidance regarding office expenditures, be it resolved, reimburse Rishi Baga $112.77 from the office supply line item 720 slash 20 for 
the coffee machine purchased from the executive office. Okay, I'm guessing you move in the second. You can find that seconds. Any discussion? Yeah. Sorry. Just in the future for making this easier for everyone, for things like office snacks, mm -hmm. just that first, whereas class is okay. Totally fine. Yeah. Um, you're gonna have to be there. I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I am trouble hearing anybody. Oh, around. sorry, sorry, sorry. So, yeah, so I was just saying for like smaller things like office uh, supplies reimbursement, you just need that first whereas clause and that last like be a result. So um, just easier for readability, especially for a manual. We'll have to do it a few times to me. I don't know okay. if you did you get that one? Yeah, yeah, I did. Perfect. Um, so I'll just um, I guess. Uh, okay, I could amend. Um, I'll amend the motion to just read. Um, whereas the SFS has executive office frequently hosts guests, guests and meetings, acquiring refreshment for hospitality purposes. Uh, be resolved to reimburse Rishu uh, one twelve dollars and seventy seven cents from the office supply item line item seven twenty slash twenty, uh, for the coffee machine mm -hmm. purchase for the executive office. Need a mover for the amendment. Um, university. I, uh, university seconds. Um, any discussion? Seeing none. Um, amendment move. Amendment carried. I guess I need to recarry the motion itself. So now I move to carry the motion unanimously. Any abstention discussion seeing none motions carried unanimously um yes no. okay. um chloe has two more amendments uh yes um next uh chloe go on with your amendments or oh, did you want me to read it yeah can you please read that uh, i'll probably also amend this one uh, uh, so I'm going to amend this motion as well to read, um, whereas the SFSS executive office frequently hosts guests and meetings acquiring snacks for hospitality purposes, um, be it resolved to reimburse Shetranj Matwani $181.34 from the office supplies line item 720-20 for snacks purchased for the executive office. I move. I need a second. Sam, um, any discussion? Seeing none, I'm going to take this to a vote. Seeking unanimous consent. If you wish to abstain or dissent, please signify. Seeing none, uh, motion is carried. Um, any other amendment? Okay, actually, there's another one. Uh, Chloe, I see your amendment is to move in camera, so I'm not going to make it a motion. I'm just going to um, add an in-camera in um, line item, um, and the topic would just be club concerns, because this doesn't need to be a motion. Yeah. Um, anyone else? <laughs> I did. That's what I just did. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Well, I could move and then you could second. Sam seconds um, to add an in camera line item. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to seek unanimous consent on that. Any? Mm -hmm. No. Seeing none, um, that's carried unanimously. Anyone else has any other amendments? Do you want to be a is that just for the survey thing? Yeah. Oh, then it's fine. it's fine. Nothing else? Okay. Um, okay. Uh, be resolved to adopt the agenda as amendment. I move. Give me a seconder. Uh, Simmer seconds. Um, any discussion on this? Seeing none. Um, motion carry unanimously. Okay. Reports. Send you. Announcements. Uh, I don't know what that was. Survey. 
can be used to a different platform. Yeah, they started the process a while back ago, but mine officially moved last week. Oh, did they? Okay. Yeah. Great. Do they move outside? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But that was oh. just a side conversation. But uh, just a note for execs that you know, maybe in the last few weeks, media, uh, some people from media may have approached you. Just know that. If you speak to them, you are speaking to them on behalf of all of the SFS, and you have to you know, speak to them as an individual without the president's permission. So, um, so you know, in general, the recommended process is to speak to staff so we can prepare you for that and chat with you, um, get Emmanuel's approval, and then move forward that way. And um, you'll probably be getting approached by a lot of externals right now, so feel free to attend those meetings, but. Um, remember, you can't make any promises without the approval of all execs or counselors, so bring that back to the team and discuss that before moving forward. Second. Awesome, thank you. Um, reports from execs, um, those online, anything? What did you get up to last week? Is there anything you wanted to add? I'm just a reminder that the executive board still have any questions. Um, you can look on your Google Drive. There's either your portfolio or other portfolios to help with the data set. Um, but yeah, if you have questions about what considered admin hours, it's considered meeting. And May 31st should be the best last day, but of course, earlier the better. Awesome. Anyone else? Um, the statement that needs to be put out, so that we can see right now. Yeah, but which one? Perfect, lovely. Um, on what? On conferences. He's talking no, about right, something right. else. Yeah. yeah. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. Did you want to talk point. about it? Yeah. A little bit, but would that be... You should have amended it on, but um, you could give it as a summary as part of your exec report. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, reached out to TSS2, reached out to... Couldn't reach out to apps or QP yet. Uh, we such as every update, we have a few contacts there. Um, maybe we can get a statement um, ready before the next meeting, but not before this central meeting. Um, we might have to pass it within exact instead of the council if that is if time is of essence in this case. Mm -hmm. um, and we're, we're working. Another thing is just for summer, we had an impact here. I think I already kind of summarized it for you, but it was just regarding a student uh, commute being over two hours because of like personal matters. But we decided to set a precedent of not allowing that to go through because it was very, it was a bit of a reach, and we don't want to set precedent for that kind of stuff because everyone has excuses that are similar. But yeah, if you want details on it, um, summary was just that she on her commute was dropping off. One of her kids okay the high school then across an elementary school and then on her way here but that's an extenuating circumstance that we can't totally control so the team especially the youth has been decided that they want to disappear uh to that out. and this is a sfu student yes and what was the appeal about like their compass card so yeah the youth has she wanted to um exempt it like you know how we get exemptions but there's certain policies that to follow one of them being that if the time is exceeding two hours, you get the exemption, but it was like just on the line of two hours and it's stuff that we could have, that was kind of beyond how the control was set. Yeah, and the, the length, I, I think it was because it was being, going out of the regular route, so not the direct route, they were taking Yeah, it screened, right? yeah. So what was the exemption for? Like, yeah, I'm kind of confused. So I, I don't think I was involved in this day. Um, I'm assuming that the exemption is requesting because the, the commute time being over two hours mm -hmm. they were requesting an exemption for the UPAS. Uh, certain students are allowed to exempt out of the UPAS. Uh, I see. But there's a certain policy you have I to see. So they did technically need it but that was because of this situation. Yeah. Yeah. And I then see. we were just worried that if we allow this one student it kind of starts domino affecting especially because we have a limited cap of how many exemptions. Yeah. Makes sense. So they didn't want to be on the U pass. Yeah. So, uh, it might be likely that the student does come and speak to their representative. Mm -hmm. Um, that one one of us being us, and I just wanted to make sure everyone's good. 
going on just because we did get a bit of a warning that there might be a complaint. Anyone else? Anything online that I'm missing? Uh, I, uh, Chloe. Yeah. Um, this past two weeks, I introduced myself to all of the CGs. I went to the first um uh, SOCA meeting and the first um FNISA meeting of the uh, semester. I've also been starting the process of researching a gender and SOGI uh, issues policy, which I'm hoping to get um, you know, support from the rest of the team on. Um, I've also been talking to our CG staff about supporting them since the layoffs. That's gonna be a really big issue coming up. Um, what else did I do that you guys should be aware of? Um, that's pretty much it in terms of like projects I'll be working on in the next like week or so. So I'm excited to talk to you guys about that more throughout the week. And yeah. Uh Rishi. Yeah, I had a, a couple of things. First, uh, regarding the Youth Congress uh conference. So I know we were excited about that oh, at first. Oh. Um, but um when I went to that and Sam was with me, uh it looks pretty lackluster at the moment. And uh I don't know if that's something we would want to put all our effort into because if we end up doing that, that's going to be a year-long process. And uh, frankly, it provides uh, no student engagement. Um, yes, it provides us an opportunity to put our name out there to the to the outside world. But um, uh, in, in, in terms of uh, the student engagement, um, I don't think we're gaining anything and I don't think we have much... Uh, monetary gains either and um other than that um there's a possibility that if you want to give our political student union or um or some other clubs to host this event instead of sfss hosting this event because ubc uh the ubc uh, ams led their unicef um and their political student union host this event. It wasn't an AMS event. Um, apart from this, uh, it's more um, the statement about um, the layoffs. Uh, I'm still working on that. I read through it. I feel like we do need to put out a uh, bold, more. I feel I feel like we need to put out a more bold statement, and um, saying that we will not be taking over any. Uh, any responsibilities of SFU staff because our staff already is over it. We do not want uh, our staff to be taking on to their jobs. And uh, we also, uh, as Chloe mentioned before, that um, SFU, the big the big people in SFU didn't really get any, any, um, uh, any like bonus cuts from their paycheck because, but, um, um, a lot of uh, budget cuts were totally directed upon, uh, totally directed towards uh, services. And uh, now the services that SFU provides uh, are coming upon to services that we provide, but uh, we also are working on a very tight schedule. And uh, not sorry, a tight schedule, a very tight budget. And uh, we should not be taken upon uh, responsibilities at SFU. Uh, staff and SFU people are supposed to be taken. Yeah, that's uh, that's all I have. Uh, and one more thing, sorry. Uh, me and Joel met with um, the research assistant in the morning, and uh, uh, we talked about how we could uh, increase student engagement in the sense that we want uh, research to be more easily accessible to all departments and not just uh, science students. So that's something me and him will be working on uh, towards uh, throughout the year. Sam. So, <clears throat> it's me. We should quite eloquently summarize our um, post um, <laughs> conference analysis. So, I thought that one was about the Montreal one, actually, the one you had submitted, but yeah, I guess you were talking I... about both. Because we had all three, I figured. That's the context of the so, Right. Uh, other than that, I got some questions around um, onboarding. I'm going to be doing some work on 
getting our ID council meeting room ready for a 5 30 tomorrow. And then I um, also had some questions from the staff around the uh, how the agenda should be formatted. Just a quick question from uh, Cindy and Evan. For the changes to the agenda, does it have to go through governance to change our format to the agenda? Or does it need I think that was what uh, was mentioned. Something like that is already included in our policy, so I think it needs to, to read. So you can make that change if you decide to. But if you'd like us to you know, follow the process, we can have it go through governance and change it. Oh, then. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Um, it just seemed like an additional step we need to go through governance to change how we wanted to format the agenda. So. And for clarity, this change was just to divide the, the faculty reps, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. This is the one where we split the reps by faculty yeah. and then hold it to the ambassadors. That's not something that we need to take in because I think um, our policy coordinator already showed us that that was part of the policy to make the agenda as um, feasible as possible. So which model did you end up deciding? No, version two. I see. Okay. Cool. Um, anyone else? Okay. Um, yeah, for me, mostly the same um, with um, Sam. We were away um, all of last week, but again, that's a discussion item that we'll get to. Um, and then other than that, just emails, meeting with SFU, um, you know, staff. Uh, yeah. Um, I will move on to um old business, I guess. Um sorry, I think your screen is paused. Sorry? I think your screen oh sorry, my bad. Is it good now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's perfect. Um, so old business, um, AVP access to exec lounge, um, <clears throat> the motion reads, whereas AVPs used to have access to exec lounge, whereas last term AVPs had their keys, had their key fob privilege taken away, be resolved to be resolved associate vice president at the key fobs access to the exec lounge reinstated. I move, I need a second, Sam second, um, floor is open for discussion, question, I believe, the, you sent the final amount, I think it was $20. Um, so is that something we wanted to include in this motion as well, or? Yep, I think that's what we were talking about last uh, in the last meeting. So I feel like we should just add that, like amend that into the motion, that $20 deposit fee of the AVPs. Sam? I am holding this issue. Uh... So, I propose to add a further clause that says, whereas a deposit of twenty dollars would be collected. Just make it a be a further resolve. Yeah, be a further resolve. We move to amend that we should add a clause stating be a further resolve to collect a deposit of twenty dollars. Okay. Upon return, return of keys. Yeah. On Navis return keys. Further resolve to collect a refundable twenty dollar deposit from each AVP returnable upon receipt of that. Um, I guess you move. I second. Um, any discussion on this? Seeing none, um, move. I'm going to seek unanimous consent to amend the motion as stated. Seeing no dissents, uh, motion is carried unanimously. Back to the motion. Any further discussion on this motion? Seeing none, I'm going to take this to a vote. Seeking unanimous consent. If you wish to abstain or dissent, please signify. Seeing none, motion is carried unanimously. Moving on to
um the new motion oh would you yeah i just had a question from sindhu that um are the avps just gonna get a uh bob now or do we need to put in an email to the building staff for that so uh We'll follow a similar process to what we did yesterday. So I we have a tracking sheet going. So as soon as they're appointed, um, and as soon as we get in their consent forms, like I'll put in the request. Um, I'll start the process early as soon as they're like appointed. I'll put the request in with the building team, and then once we for sure have their consent form, they can come pay their deposit at the student center. Um, I'll send out a guideline just so that you and the AVPs know what to do. But um, I can manage the order of the box. Okay, thank you. Um, and then uh, I think she mentioned this, but reminder for everyone: get your AVPs to get their forms in. Um, yeah. Uh, Sam. What forms do the AVPs have to fill out? It's already sent out. Did you send it? Do you have it? Yep, I just didn't know if there was enough of them. Oh, okay. What about the one for CCR? CCR, so that's something we'll figure out at the end of the day. Um, okay, Um. I will move on to new business. Um. Uh, and it's for reimbursement for executive office coffee machine, whereas the SFSS, executive office frequently hosts guests and meetings um, requiring uh, refreshments for hospitality purposes. They resolved to reimburse uh, Rishu Baga one twelve and seventy nine dollars. So sorry, one twelve and seventy seven dollars. Um. Uh, from the office supply line item seven twenty slash twenty for the coffee machine purchase for the executive office. I move. I need a seconder. University. Um. Seconds. Um. University. Second. Yeah. yeah. This is on my um any discussion. Seeing none, taking this to a vote, seeking oh uh seeing none, taking this to a vote, seeking unanimous consent. If you wish to abstain or dissent, please signify. Seeing none, motion is carried unanimously. Uh moving on. Uh, next motion should be. Reimbursement for executive office snacks, whereas the SFSS executive office frequently hosts guests and meetings requiring snacks for hospitality purposes. Be resolved to reimburse Shatran Shmudwani $181.34 from the office supplies line item 720-20 for snacks purchased for the executive office. I move. I need a seconder. Sam seconds and discussion. Seeing none, taking this to a vote, seeking unanimous consent. If you wish to abstain or dissent, please signify. Seeing none, motions carried unanimously. Moving on to discussion items. Uh, first one is CSSS grant appeal submitted by VP Finance. The floor is yours. And they wanted because they, I think, wanted 2200. Yeah, they were about to 2200. Um, we, it was Sindhu, I, and Anna, and he went to my brother. You're so welcome. Um, we just thought that that was kind of out of bounds for us, especially with the grant that they were already receiving. And it was just a reminder that grant is supposed to be able to aid you not fully fund your event, especially because something like board site is going to be removed during the event. So we don't want to set that price again for just giving them money. And um especially because one thing that we discussed and one thing I'm gonna to continue to discuss like for the rest of the year is more equitable funding across all clubs. C triple S received the lead in funding last year being 40k. And I just I don't want to set such a narrative early on that we're gonna continue to get funding. That was similar to last year. Um, yeah, and then they wanted to continue to build that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, thank you so much. Uh, beautifully, uh, for context, they requested 2200 and that was to cover um, only food and napkins. 
So they're not requesting um, any additional funding for any of those items. Yeah, and it was just to be a hot second. Yeah, and then um, I think we found pricing for napkins to be a fraction of that cost. Uh, so they were, we felt like it was an overreach. And um, as per the funding guidelines, there's a max of $500. So that's why we were even offering the grant of 560. Uh, but their ask um, didn't include the core funding, so they would have uh, received uh, seven point one seven. Check the math out here. They would have received two hundred and twenty for core, so their real ask is nineteen eighty, and with that, we're agreeing to pay five hundred and sixty dollars. So they appealed, and the appeal process is usually to go to council, uh, and between those meetings to come to. Uh, Sorry, so go to member services advisory committee or finance, and with the absence of both of those, we decide to bring it to the and get your opinion on it. Sam? Yes, sorry, this is Kay. I just wanted to join this one. Thank you. Okay. I received some questions about this, so I need to get a you. Different than here, but I agree with the general that but what happened when I was both. Well, I'm also going to put up that the 40k amount is in the, the one to two k total to all clubs, so distributed. Oh, so 40k went to just CS yes, club. Mm -hmm. That is 100. Mm. I think I don't think we should consider ourselves the arbiter of trying to make last year more fair and or try to do anything like that. I think we're a new year. We turn a new leaf. Everyone the biases or lack thereof or piece of last year aren't relevant anymore and i think that's what happened in advance is that it was done based on our policy and this is what our policy says it's not unfair to see a teacher for us it's not unfair to any other group it's what we did so that's what number six is in seven is what it is um we show us a list and then put that. We should go ahead. Yeah, uh, I don't know if um uh, Sam and Joel already talked about this. I couldn't really properly hear them. I just wanted to um ask everybody to look into how much uh money C Triple S has already gotten throughout the last year. And it was evidently because of uh personal bias uh, in the last exact team towards that group. So I uh, would just ask everybody to take a look into that before we agree to any money that any additional money that we give to that group because they already got I'm pretty sure they got a lot of money last year and uh, maybe that's uh, their expectation this year but I don't think we should uh, sign up to that expectation because that's not the only group that we need to support and already again our budget is pretty tight. So uh, direct response from Sam. So, with that, we can say a lot about last year, but C Plus also did receive significantly higher amounts of funding the year previous. I know from conversations I had with C Plus folks, I also, within those conversations, I have also both emphasized and had emphasized to me that they are looking for outside sources of funding, as they understand that funding will not continue at its current level that last year was a loop, so to say. So it's, again, I don't think you should look at it as, as a lens backwards, more as a lens forwards of where we can go next, the student groups we can support this year, and how we want to make sure that we can support many of our student unions this year. And to do that, because CSS is the largest departmental student union, 
so they will get quantities of funding that will seem larger than most other departmental student unions. Departmental student, not faculty student. So DSUs come under FSU? Yep. And, but we need to make sure that we follow our policies to stay, stay the process can be understood and justified to everyone, which is why we have policy in the first place. So I think our VP class, VP finance made the right call and that it should, yeah, we should continue working forward. Um, Was yeah. yours a direct response or a list? Uh, that's this. Okay. <laughs> um, I also just want to add that this isn't to like in any way punishing them for their prior year, just like you said. I do expect them to think that they will receive a similar amount, but again, equity considered, it will be definitely less. Um, I just think that it's important for us to have a stern response on this because one, this is the first thing they're appealing. If they are allowed this, they're going to continue to feel like they can walk over us. Another thing is I want to be more careful with what like the grants actually look like because again we found cheaper options for napkins so if they're kind of marking up things with like just pizza pop i just want to make that clear from the get-go um again that doesn't mean they're never going to receive funding it's intention but okay. yeah i just want to make sure that this appeal gives out the right uh, i think it was joe then chloe i'm nothing against the motion or stopping the funding i'm just wondering when um sam when we discussed uh, looking at the number of students by faculty, did we consider like making that like part of the process of like which faculty has like how much I'll allocate it to it? I think that's a longer discussion related to budgeting, which I'll refer to you. Yeah, I'm gonna be speaking to some of the finance students regarding that kind of stuff. Um, I know that you mentioned with policy, there's <clears throat> specific numbers. Um, for specific line items, for example, for example, like one of the line items would travel is 100 dollars per student, whether or not there's a cap I have to consider, but things like that, I think that's the best way to go about it. With there being like obviously C Triple S, the sciences, like SAS, FAS being bigger unions, they are expected to get more. I'm gonna figure out that. Um no, I'm just like not looking at line items, I'm looking at like the total funding and like how it's being equitably allocated. Like, did we figure out like the number of students and make a cap like that just within our funding guidelines. So yeah, so what um to just go off what Samar Samar was saying, uh for travel and conference, we do we do like a hundred dollars per student, but there's a cap based on the number of students, but we don't do that for grants yeah. right now. That is something that's something that we could look into, but we wanted it to be accessible to students and that's why there's this process of the funding guidelines. So I mean of course there are different circumstances where if a group really does need more funding and they can justify that, that's when they come with appeal, an appeal. But as of right now, that's not something we've done, but if that's something exact and council want to look into, that's something we're prepared to look into. But right now, um, the structure is just a pool of funding. Yeah, so the answer to your question is no, because you wanted to know if each group um, or no, student- No, like how we consider it? It would be, it would be the number of students. Uh, Bowie? Hi. Um, yeah, not really about the motion itself, but I just wanted to acknowledge like the position that uh, groups like this are in to uh, receive outside funding, because I think that funding for like applied sciences is really, really out there. And I did get um, in touch with Meha, our BAS counselor, and she said that she would love to do a series of workshops with her team to help sort of teach these science groups like how to go network and like how to look for outside funding. And I think that that's a program that I'd like to start running pretty soon so that they can like, it can help alleviate some of the stress in our budget in terms of events, because I do think that they're more likely to get funding than say like a world led group. <laughs> so yeah. she said that she would be willing to do that and her team would love to. Uh, similar as the direct response. Yeah, regarding that, I do know that BAS has a corporate relations team that is based solely on getting external funding, whether that's like just for their monthly meeting stacks or bigger events like their gala. So it's something that we can obviously pitch to see to us and be like, hey, like, can you work this way if you really feel like you're underfunded? 
Um, any other thoughts on this? Yeah, just overall, yeah. you guys so, said, is there anyone that um, disagrees with the appeal that Anna and team? No, I've read the, the thread, the okay. email thread. Yeah, it seems fine to me. Then we'll get a report about that. Uh, Chloe says they can help out our lovely nerds. Um, uh, I think the other gentleman is coming. Wait, what? Yeah. Um, the next, the next one is reports from recent conferences and it was submitted by Sam. So if you want to talk to We're on conferences discussion item? Yes. <clears throat> All right. So as you all know, me and Emmanuel weren't here last week. Um we had various trials and tribulations of our Montreal trip as Emmanuel is now laughing about. I'm glad you can now laugh about them now that we're back in DC. Um, but so we'll do a quick summary of Montreal and then hand it over to Joel for ABCS because and Montreal. We flew out on Tuesday, arriving with some plane delays at about 1 a.m. Uh, Eastern time in Montreal. Uh, would you like it to be mentioned <laughs> or to not? Go ahead, it's fine. So, Air Canada, we love him, but gave <laughs> um, Emmanuel a solid sell on his luggage with it, with all the delays, not making it to the right flight for us to, for our connection to Montreal. So, for day one of the conference, Emmanuel's luggage was out of commission, which was not great, but it led to me having the um, uh, better output out of the SFU folks for night one. So uh, I'm not complaining too much. Yeah. But other than that, when we actually got to the conference, um, we got in, hotel was nice. Um, they wanted the conference, we met a lot of other student leaders from across the country. The joke is we went to Montreal to meet all the BC student union execs. There were day one was pretty much a deep dive into insurance. Uh, going into a little bit more about student care, learn some more things that will as a follow-up we can different ways to customize our insurance plan and things that will be useful and follow up with I think Lisa on that. And we also need to follow up with their comms team because there are a number of both printed and online resources they are willing to, that they already will provide for us within our current agreement with them that we are not currently taking advantage of, which is, well, if we have the ability to do something, we should do it. There are a number of different um, options posted you can set up in the sub about uh, their new Rexall um, discount for pharmacy. So with that, that'll bring the um, insurance costs from eighty to, from them paying 80% and then us paying 20% to us paying 10%. 80% will come from them and a 10% discount at Rexall, which is nice. And then they will also do, um, their comps team will produce videos with student union exec from the universities that they work with explaining the insurance plan for us to post on our accounts about um, the insurance and the benefits of yeah. them doing the behind the scenes stuff and us being the face of it. So that is another thing that we can take advantage of. Things that I think will be very useful as we get towards the difficult decisions we have to make about our insurance plans in the upcoming couple months. And then day one in the evening was um, oh, 
They were in the afternoon with some vegan meals being went to Alberta, University of Alberta, and the University of Winnipeg. We got caught out in a rainstorm together, so definitely a bonding experience. East Coast rain. There was then in the evening, student care had a um restaurant, had rented out a section of the restaurant, and so we met by AMS UBC president and the um uh University of Waterloo president and had some very good conversations with them over the course of the night about what they do in various systems. That was a very good network experience. Day two was a um more of a leadership session, which was um interesting less for the um presenters themselves, but for the um information where we were discussing scenarios and stuff where it brought um in the working groups in the afternoon where we'd be given a topic and an issue and we then discuss what the various universities ourselves did. And so I think that was interesting. I found out that uh, while in BC, universities offer uh, low market rate housing, specifically on townhouses, are approximately 10% below market for four bedroom apartments in Burnaby. In Ontario, they are not below market. So that is different as discussions around the housing crisis are a lot more local for students than um, national. Then day two in the evening was more networking with various execs. Me personally, I went with the UVic, uh, UVic and U Ottawa execs. I can't speak for many of them. Also, <clears throat> also Ottawa, um, some of the colleges in Ontario. Um, yeah. The final morning was the schedule programming had wrapped up, so it was just hard around Montreal before I fight. You should tell them about the minister. Oh. So <laughs> on the final day we'd we gone up to um We'd been told about Montreal basics. And we're like, we have to go get Montreal basics. And one of the people who was there, the Ottawa Press, who lived in Montreal for a while before, gave us this one bagel shop to go to. So we visited some of the sites in the city, then came to a bagel shop, and we're just going in and I'm walking in and so I just opened the door. Well, opened the door to walk in and um I did not realize it, but the person who's at the other side of the door was the Canadian Foreign Minister who was going to buy bagels herself. Yes. And so we had a awkward moment of he was going through, we passed in and went out and then uh, yeah, Melanie Jolie. Yes. yes. And then um, I did not realize until I turned back to the outside of the window and saw the SUV and there. Manuel had noticed the security on the outside. Yeah, because I was walking in and I saw a guy watching my bag. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> then we open the door and we just see it, see him like kind of like come get it. It was interesting. Yeah. I know. It was, it was the odds of that was surprising. So that was that was an interesting moment. But all in all, really fun. Really, really useful though. I think we got a lot of yeah. new actionable items, things that we can do for campaigns that we can work with. And that's some um, former SSF execs, our uh, yeah. 2017 president of BP University. Yeah, yeah. that's good. <clears throat> um, I think it's well summarized. Um, do you want to talk about ABC? Do you want to go for it? Sure. Um, so we, we went to ABCS uh, when we came back on Friday. We were there Saturday, Sunday. Um, um, conference was good. Um, first day was basically Governance 101. Because, um, I mean, most of everyone there were mostly new to like student union 
So they were doing a lot of basic onboarding. Um, they talked a little bit about lobbying, but day two was supposed to be like the main <laughs> lobbying day. Um, so great, day one was good, met a lot of good people. Um, and day two was supposed to be where we get into lobbying, but they had also scheduled their annual general meeting to, to be at the start of the day. And it was only supposed to go on for an hour. But they were also doing their board elections. So we ended up going from like morning okay. till five. So we didn't get to do the lobbying part of the conference on day two. So, but it worked out for us. Cause... Uh, can we set something up for like lobbying registration? So I have that. But... but yeah, it worked out for us, even though we, we couldn't vote or anything because we're in part of the ABCS. Um, we ended up at some point we went outside and then there was supposed to be a keynote speaker that showed up to do his keynote, <laughs> but they were still going on with because they had several deadlocks and they had to keep going over and over again. Um, so we sat outside with Paul Finch, um, which was great. Um, and we just got to have a private conversation with the keynote speaker for like a couple of hours, um, which was good. Um, got a lot, a lot of insight and uh, things to consider. Um, from him as well, so it was helpful. Uh, so even though we didn't get to the lobbying part, I think we got our um our part out. back from in camera. Um, we resolved to go ex cam for the remainder of the meeting. I move and in the second, uh, simmer VP finance seconds. Any discussion about that? No. Um, seeking unanimous consent. If we should abstain or dissent, please signify. Seeing none. Motion is carried unanimously. Um, any announcements, any final, anything else? Okay, seeing none, uh, be resolved to adjourn the meeting at 2.24. I need, I move, I need a seconder. Uh, Joel seconds, um, seeking I miss consent. If you wish to abstain or dissent, please signify. Seeing none. Motion to adjourn carried unanimously. Thank you, guys. See you next week, Tuesday. Um, yeah, and have a good rest of your day and week.